Hey everybody, let your light shine. I'm here in Green Valley Lake, California. That's kind of near Big Bear, California. That's right. It's cold out here. Thank God. It's like 59 degrees, which was 90 some degrees in Orange County, which sucks because I'm tired of the heat. Anyway, I'm staying with some friends in their cabin, which is a lot of fun. But right next door is a really creepy and abandoned cabin. So we're going to go check it out. <laughs> So all I know is, I guess an old guy lived out here. All they're guessing is that he died and uh, the owner must have been the son. We don't really know. Lives in New York. Never comes out and checks on the place. Doesn't really care about it. So it just sits here and rots away. And on the other side, you can see the deck is all like falling apart. But I just noticed this creepy little sled right here. Ooh. That's very old school. So let's walk. So I had a drive down here last night, <clears throat> and I've never driven up the mountains. I've always been like a passenger going to the mountains. So driving here at night in these small dark roads where there's no street lights, surprise I found my way. Thank you, GPSs. I love the sound of the wind in these trees, especially these pine trees. I love them. Very soothing and calming. Looks like this would be a stream during the rains. Perfect for sledding during the winter. <clears throat> All right, so back to the abandoned cabin. And it's so sad because this place has so much potential too. It looks really cute. Ooh, if those windows were like creepy, creepy, it would look like the As you can see, the steps are completely rotted out. Look at that. Denied. It looks like a cute little place to check out though at one time. Okay. So I'm not sure if it or if that's stairs. Or if it's just like a high oh no, it has stairs. It has Oh, that's right. It's like a one-bedroom loft. Anyway, I'm not going in, obviously. I'm going to trespass. That's a bummer, though. But, you know, surprisingly, you don't see homeless people taking up residence here either. So, that's good. But it's creepy at night because you wonder, like, you're right next door to this house. Wouldn't it be creepy if the windows, not the windows, but the curtains, like, kind of opened up? Ooh. So, oh, they have a, see? It really has a really nice potential for this house. Nice deck. They would restore it. Pretty view. So, I was saying, like, these windows, I could see them cross from where we are. I'm like, ooh, God, I can see them, like, moving or something. What's in that house? What's in there? Look at that poor deck. <laughs> Alright, I thought I'd go around and just kind of grab some footage of under as well. Not very exciting, but I just thought, wonder... You do anything under here? Probably not. Just has a lot of this stuff to keep the house up here, I guess. 
a lot of supports, but it's kind of scary that that is what you're relying on. Get the stairs over here again. Ooh, I just noticed that though. Look at that. I guess when it broke over there, look at that. It's not even supported anymore. Yikes. I wonder what triggered this devastation. I'm not planning to walk up these things anytime soon. Okay, so I'm seeing this from the deck of the place I'm currently at. And I try to go to that lace window right here with my phone, but it was just too dark. So I'm like, darn it, I can't see anything in there. But I asked the folks here because they checked it out before. And they said, if you look inside, it looks like, like it was back in the 1960s. And someone just literally just up and left. And the whole place is still furnished. There's like a creepy rocking chair and a table with like one of those lacy type doily type tablecloth just like that with a hurricane lamp so everything's just still intact just sitting and rotting I'm just waiting for the curtains to open oh my god it's so creepy all righty guys that concludes my little abandoned cabin vlog yes I'm wearing my squirrel shirt today too maybe they did it who knows because electricity went out half in the cabin today and everyone blamed the squirrels. So, hey. Anywho, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.